mind, it's time to go to the to the vault for a little episode of Closet Confidential. Even the dogs heard you come in. Come on. I hear you. Ruff, ruff, ruff to you, too. We're almost there. Can you feel the excitement? Welcome back to the closet. Well, it's the vault, really. And another episode for Canine Chronicle on the website and Facebook. Canine Chronicle is proud to present to you the Closet Confidential. Come on in. No, my clothes are not usually on the floor, but I thought this was a great way to explain what we're going to be talking about today. Three easy pieces. What does three easy pieces mean? It means essentially with five pieces you get three outfits. When you're thinking about organizing your own closet and the kinds of things you should have in it, one of the things to think about is color selection. Are there colors you like? Are there colors that you enjoy wearing that make you happy, that you know work for you? If you don't, take some time and pull some things out of your closet and see if you, in your own way without realizing, have actually organized colors that you like. It could be that you're into purples and blues. You might like jewel colors. You might like off-whites and pinks. Any color combination that you like that works for you is something to build on because when you build on different color combinations that work for you, you can do three easy pieces. It becomes a very easy thing to do and it gives a versatility to your wardrobe that you'll find absolutely astounding. Suddenly, when you thought you didn't have enough of anything to take away on a five-day dog show trip, you realize you do. And you can take this process of three easy pieces and easily expand it to five days. Six days, we're pushing it. But in any event, you can do that. So the first thing you might want to do is take a good look at all of your different clothes. You can look around here. I have a variety of things, and I do have pops of color. But I've learned for me, and you have to learn what's working for you, is I tend to work a lot in black and white, pink and gold tones, and winter white. Those seem to be my colors that make me look good, whatever the season is, and also work well for me. And then I do add pops of color, you know, to change off a cream skirt with a yellow jacket instead of just a black jacket. And of course, we all have tons of black in your, in your wardrobe, especially if you live in the Northeast of the United States. I think we wear an awful lot of black. So anyway, three easy pieces. Three easy pieces starts out with two pieces. Find two things in your wardrobe. It could be a dress, it could be a skirt. But find two things that, well, looking at this, you'd say, well, I don't know what's so much the same about these. It isn't about the same. It's about what works in a way that you can swing things around together. So we have a fuchsia knit dress and we have a black and white dress with pattern and also it has a bit of pink at the top. So I looked around my closet before you came and I said, okay, three easy pieces. Let's see what we can do. Among my wonderful jackets, I found this one plain dress, a little tiny bit of sparkle, and there you go. The piping on the jacket is a beautiful match for the dress. Another thing is proportion when you do this. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not exactly Jack the Giant Killer here. I'm small, and I'm short-waisted. And so as a result of that, I prefer a waist jacket. Uh, a long jacket on me takes my proportion, or as we'd say in dogs, our balance off. And my proportions would be off, and I just wouldn't, I'd look even shorter than I am now. If I had a long torso, and there are many days I wish I did, a short jacket might not be the right thing for me. I might want that jacket that's down here. So your jacket selection will be different than mine because your proportions are different than mine. So these are what works for me, and Think about things like proportion. The taller you are, the longer jacket you can carry off, which doesn't mean you can't wear a short jacket, but you might prefer a longer jacket. So there's my first outfit. Uh, great combination. The pink will stick up out here, 
The jacket has a little bit of wingy wingy pow pow sparkle to it, but not much. And the dress is very tailored. And so what you end up seeing here is I think quite a very, very tailored, professional looking um, jacket that's happy, it's got great colors, and you could enjoy wearing. Okay, so we have outfit number one. Then you want something that's particular to this particular, this dress. Okay, it's got stripes. So you're going to say, oh, she's going to pick out a black jacket. No, uh-uh, not me. I'm a little more frou-frou than that. I chose a check jacket, a houndstooth. And you're going to go, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. And watch. I think that's adorable. That's a medium length jacket, it's a little bit longer. It's got a little bit of swing to it. It's got a great little ribbon ruffle on the sleeves and down the front. And what could be better than this with a pair of pearls and a pair of patent leather shoes? There's your second easy piece. And you'll, when you're wearing it, you'll also pull up a little bit of the pink right over here, which will just give you a little touch of color that you're probably going to enjoy. And now, the third outfit of the weekend. This is what we call the double, du the double duty jacket. For your third day, you can decide you want to put this jacket with this dress. It brings a whole new texture to it. It's got the great pearls down the front. And then I'd do a pop of color for a shoe. And I'd say, I've got myself a great outfit. I've decided I want to wear a little something with a little less punch to it and a little more tailor to it. I can put that jacket with this dress, open the jacket a little bit, the pop of pink will come out, patent leather shoes that you might have worn the day before with something with that outfit, and you have three easy pieces. One. two, three. And that's the concept of three easy pieces. You could do it with anything. And the nice thing is this weekend you're wearing the black, the whites, the pinks, and the pops. And next weekend, for me, I might be going into something like my pale pinks, my off whites, and then bringing in a pop of color with something like a jacket that has a little bit of a pattern to it. All the things you can do without having to carry a whole lot of stuff. Remember, most of anything you do with fashion, more is less. The less you have to contrive what you do, and the less you have to travel with, and the less you have to think about when you get up in the morning, the better it is. I always find when I'm traveling, getting up in the morning is based on the organization from the night before. I would have all of these things laid out with all of the undergarments, the shoes, and the handbags I'm going to wear. And when you're carrying pieces like this, you really could find one handbag that would carry you through the whole, the whole period of time and you wouldn't have to change your bag. Because changing bags, for me, is always a drama. I'm always afraid I'm going to leave something, lose something, and you really hate when you're on the road to lose something that you need because you have no place else to go to get it. So besides, being able to creatively, without too much complexity, take each of your wardrobe pieces and know what you're going to wear each day. And another good way to do that, so in the morning you can get up and take these pieces and move with them, is to do something, for example, if I was wearing these two pieces. The night before, I would be doing this. I would have packed my pearls. I like to pack them in little sandwich bags. And that way they're not all over the place. And in that same bag, I would have the earrings I'm going to wear, and if I'm going to wear a bracelet, and my watch. And I'd pack that in that little sandwich bag for the night, for the, the night, for the next morning. And that would be out. I would have out my shoes. So with an outfit like this, 
I'm really looking for something in the way of perhaps a plain, if I'm going to go with all of this, I'm going to stay with a solid color shoe. Or I might take myself into something a little bit crazy like these shoes that I've, I know I've shown you before. Just finish it off and make it fun. Or a simple shoe. And if this would be a shoe I would wear as a judge. I don't think I would expect any of you to be running around the ring. But actually, if you were running around the ring and wanted something comfortable, look at the shoes I'm wearing right now. These are great. Note the bottom. Great traction. Look at the detail. That's a great little shoe to wear to something like this that you could run around the ring in and look really very stylish. And you could also think about things. If you're going to wear a knit, girls, I'll remind you again. Different knits have different amount of stretch to them or not. These are the kind you can basically, they're the lighter knits. They're not as tight. You can see through them. Ladies, one thing you need, a drawer full of undergarments. And I do mean undergarments. There's everything in here. We've got a full length slip, which is probably something I would wear under these dresses. And it doesn't matter what size you are. You can wear these clothes and you can wear knits, provided that you have the proper undergarments, you're willing to wear a slip, pantyhose, and even if you need it for a little bit of extra, I would certainly recommend something to wear as a longer, as a longer, you know, Spang style panty. Th there's nothing wrong with making sure that nothing jiggles. There's nothing less attractive than you running around the ring and nothing staying where it's supposed to stay. And then an outfit like this, a knit is not flattering. And you can wear knits no matter what size you are, as long as you're careful, you make sure that they're the kind of knit, the more compression you can get from a knit, the better you're going to look. So the more compression you're going to have to add if you're going to wear something that's a lighter knit. So I strongly suggest that you do that. And of course, somebody asked a question, and I think we went over it, is that what about wearing pantyhose? And the answer certainly is pantyhose will give you that little bit of extra oomph, no matter what size you are. And also makes your legs feel better at the end of the day. I know I, as a judge, am standing there from 8 o'clock in the morning, sometimes till 7 o'clock at night. And those of you who are handling dogs, you're running around all day long. So give yourself those supports and save your legs and look better because it's a much better idea. Another thing is when you are packing, I do also like to have different sorts of plastic bags to travel with and keep your things where you want them to be. So at the end of the day, the things that I've worn that I'm not going to be wearing again, I put in a, like a slightly larger plastic bag so that the end of three or four days, everything's back in that bag and goes back home without it being pre-bunched, and I've got it all ready for the next time, and to keep it clean, or if you break something, put it in a little sandwich bag. They're the best things in the world to carry with you, and then you can take it and get it repaired, or if unfortunately it's of no value to you anymore, at least you can take it home and discard it safely once you've discovered that you can't save it. So those are a whole bunch of things. Three easy pieces, lots of easy ways to keep travel and keep your your wardrobe organized. Another thing is a, is a way to organize is look at the shoes. I've pulled shoes out because they're for different things for different reasons. If I think that it's a shoe I'm going to grab a lot, I usually keep them out so I can quickly see what I want to get from them. You know, it's really fun to see. This is a great, great dog show shoe. Again, it's got great bottoms giving you that extra cushioning that you might need. Really attractive and very versatile. Another shoe you could wear with something like this. Look at that. It's fun to have more than one answer to every question. As the only way you're going to know what you like is to be able to play with the things ahead of time. And then if you have to pull something along, like, well, it's going to be cold. What am I going to wear on top of this? Find a jacket that would go on top of all of these things that's comfortable that you can get right into. 
You have something like this. It's an easy coat to travel with. It would go over everything. And it's completely reversible. So you might want to wear the white coat. You might want to wear the black coat. But again, it's a great look. It weighs nothing. You can roll it up, put it in a suitcase. And on top of all that, it's washable. So why wouldn't you want things that are versatile, that you can get so much out of? Dual purpose, five, three easy pieces, lots of accessories and organization. I think that's a great thing to think about anytime you're going to do it. And everything is fashionable. And everything that I've shown you here, I can truly tell you, were pieces that were affordable. Well, we went through the three easy pieces today with a lot of other great things in stock for you coming down the road as you join us for more episodes in the future. And I just want to say, if any of you wondered where I came up with three easy pieces, there's a movie that was entitled Three Easy Pieces a long time ago. Look it up and you'll understand it not only does it have a connotation to fashion, but a little bit to music too. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to more questions. Thanks, and keep them coming. We love hearing from you. If anything you want to ask us, we can discuss anything. We've discussed underwear. We've discussed shoes, all the good things that we need for fashion. Okay, fashionistas, the vault is closed for now. We'll see you next time. Okay, and now to the questions that came in. People, you can show us your faces on the video. We'd love for other people to see you instead of me just reading your questions. And here they are. Okay, we have another question, and this one comes from Lisa in Arizona. And she did send us a video, which you can see. She sent us a picture of her shoes. And her question is, a friend told me, these shoes are not good for showing my dog, that they are too sparkly and would take away from my dog. <clears throat> all she can see is my shoes when I go around. I love to sparkle. Oh, don't we all? I want to wear the shoes with a black St. John sparkly suit along with these shoes. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? Sparkle and sparkle. We sort of have covered that a little bit in our Vintage and Vogue session. Sparkle with sparkle is a point where we have too much sparkle. You can see the shoes. They are beautiful. And their shoe I would definitely wear with something a little more neutral and definitely not with sparkle. With your black sparkly suit, the best thing you could do is probably wear a great black patent shoe, which would bring out the shine, but not the sparkle. And maybe something with just a tip of sparkle at the end. But I do agree with your friend. This shoe is an awful lot of sparkle to wear with a black St. John sparkle suit. But I'm sure you can wear them with something and enjoy them differently. And another thing she asked is, should, because they have rubber soles, I love these shoes. Rubber soles are great, as I showed you with some other things today. But the point is, sparkle with sparkle, it's like these shoes. If you were wearing that sparkly suit and you had on these shoes, it would be too much sparkle too. But the black patent would be great. Hope this helps you, and thanks so much for writing in to us and showing us your beautiful shoes. Okay, Suzanne M. from Woodlands, California has chosen not to send us a video, but she did um, write in a question, and I can understand why. Her question is in two parts. First, she's talking about bras. Hey, girls, they're a necessity in life for most of us. She mentions that she's small, and her bra straps tend to fall down when she's running around the ring. They never seem to do so any other time. She wears a, a, good, a good company's bra, and that um, she said she's spending too much time in her shirt, pulling up her bra strap, and getting strange looks from people in the ring. What should I do about this? Well, I think maybe the brand of bra that you're buying is not the proper fit for you. And so you might want to consider, instead of the store that you mentioned, to go to another store where you can get a little more control on the kind of bra that you're wearing and the kind of support that you're getting from it. Because probably what's happening is the support isn't quite right and therefore it's sending this, this, the strap off in the wrong direction. So if you're wearing something that's a more um, soft cup, you might want to go to something with a little more construction to it and also with a little bit more adjustment to it. 
And another idea is if you're wearing something that doesn't particularly have you open too much or your back is closed, you might consider trying one of the sports bras because that's a whole different direction for you and you wouldn't be pulling up straps. And if you don't know what I mean, well, we have a whole drawer full of those, this girl who works out. Okay, let's just take one because here it is. And what I mean is one that will keep you in the back strapped and you won't be dealing with the straps that are constantly going off. And honestly, in the soft cup bra area, there are so many different varieties. Try one of these and see if that's helpful to you, and we hope it is. Another question she asked is about pantyhose. She wanted to know, is a more appropriate to wear pantyhose in the ring or not? And my philosophy is, I think it gives you a classier look, it gives your legs some support, and it also gives your undergar you know, an undergarment effect if you right wear the right pantyhose. And every girl likes her stomach to look flat as it can. So why not help yourself along with a little support at the bottom and more support at the top? I hope that helps you. I want everybody to check on the Canine Chronicle website or on the Facebook page. There'll be instructions on how to submit a one minute video where you can ask your question and we will choose some really great questions and go into it. Please tell us your name, where you live, what you do in dogdom, are you a handler, are you a breeder, are you an exhibitor, and we'd like to tailor the answer to just to your needs specifically, but something that we can share with everybody. So don't forget to check on the Canine Chronicle website and on the Facebook page for the information on where to send your questions to The Closet Confidential.